So placing videos inside of text or images, it's actually a really simple technique, but one that's really effective for making your titles a little bit more dynamic. You can also use it for making short little promos for your YouTube channel, or even just social media videos in general. It's a really effective little tool for making dynamic videos. Now the effect we're trying to achieve is quite a familiar one. You'll see it all the time in films, TV, and YouTube videos all over the place and it should look a little something like this. Right. Boring. Pete? When I ask you to set this up for the tutorials? Yeah, I, I haven't done anything. It says boring. Oh, I did see the cleaner. The, the cleaner was in? Yeah, right, okay. Can you change it back? So let's jump into an empty sequence and get started. For our first example, we're gonna use an image and place our video inside of an image. So for that, you're gonna need an image file of some kind. We're gonna use a transparent PNG file of the YouTube logo. So I've got that inside my project window. It's important to make sure that the PNG file that you've got is a transparent one. It does have a transparent background and also that it's placed on the video layer on top of the video footage that you want to cut through it. So here we have the YouTube logo on video layer three and the drone footage on video layer two. So now on the drone footage, we're gonna highlight that just by selecting it. We're gonna go over to effects and we're gonna look for a thing called the track mat. So just type in track and the track mat key should appear. So we're gonna drag that onto our footage and we're gonna head up to effect controls while that clip is still selected and we should have track mat key appears inside the effect controls. We want to make sure this option here composite using is set to matte alpha. Could be set to matte luma by default so just click on the down menu and select it. And then the matte so this is what it's going to use to key out the video. So at the moment it's set to none. We want that to be set to the corresponding video layer where our image is. In this case that's video layer 3. So select video 3. And as, as simple as that, it does it straight away. So the video is now playing inside of that graphic that we've placed on top, which is the YouTube play button. Now on its own, it, it's certainly effective, but it doesn't look as good as it could. I quite like the idea of this having a white background. So that's really easy to achieve inside of Premiere. If we go over to our project window on the bottom left, we we'll click on this icon here, it says new item. We're gonna go for color matte. The settings will be the same as your sequence, so okay that. And then select the color that you want your matte to be, in this case, white. Let's drop that background on video layer one, which is underneath everything. Make it the same length as our cut. And there we have it with a white background. We can add a little bit more sparkle to it again by making it fade in and fade out. And that's as simple as drawing in some opacity on the video layer. I do that by holding the Apple key and clicking just draw in a quick opacity curve and now when I play it both the graphic and the video fade in together because they are linked with that track mat. So using this effect with text rather than a pre-made image is pretty much the same process but we have to make the text or title ourselves inside Premiere Pro. Thankfully that's actually really straightforward. I've got my drone clip isolated on its own here and we're going to put text on top of that. To do that, if we go over to the left here and select the Type tool, or the shortcut is T on the keyboard, select that and go over to our program window, we click on that and it gives us an option to type inside. I'm just going to write text because I don't have an imagination. Now we can adjust the attributes for the text that we've created in the effects control window, which is on the left. There's now a text option there. We can adjust the size of the font, we can adjust the font to whatever we choose it to be. And also the same scale and positioning controls are available to us as with any video clip. So I can scale this up with a scale slider. I can change the position to wherever I want that text to sit. Once I've got the text in a size and a position that I'm happy with, then we're gonna use that track map key again on the drone footage that sits underneath the text. So select that clip, go to track map key, replace that on the video file. And again, we want to select the mat to be the corresponding video layer that our text sits on. In this case, video layer three. And there you have it. You have the video appearing inside your text. 
As with an image, if you want to fade that in or out, any opacity changes that you make to the video layer that sits underneath will affect the whole thing. And also, if you want to put a background mat underneath, like a white mat, you can do the same as what we did with the graphics. So anything that sits underneath that video file will appear behind it. When we get to using an image and text, it gets perhaps a little bit more complicated. It just takes a little bit more planning in advance. In this case, you need to make that a PNG file from Photoshop. So I've got a pre-made PNG file of the YouTube logo and some text underneath that sits as a single PNG file with a transparent background. I drop that on the video layer that sits on top of our drone footage. As you can see, it looks pretty ropey just on its own. It's just a YouTube play button with the word subscribe underneath. But because it sits as a single PNG file, we can track map to that whole thing. So the video will appear not just in the image, but in the text as well at the same time. And it's the same process as what we've used before. So select the drone clip. Let's go to effects, track mat key, place that on the clip and select our mat as video layer three, which is where that PNG file is sitting. And there you go, the video sits through both the text and the image at the same time. Again, we can place that color mat background underneath it. So it has a white background, perhaps if you're gonna use this for Instagram or Facebook is quite a nice effect. Also what you can do at this point, which is quite a cool effect, is to place a video to sit underneath that track matted video as well. So you have two videos playing at the same time. Make sure that if one of the videos is quite busy in what's happening, that the other one is quite sedentary, otherwise it's quite hard to look at. So I'll show you that as a really quick example. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you have to every time? Sorry about that. Pete, Sorry. switch your phone off. Sorry. Just switch it off. I thought it was off. Just placing a video on top of a video, basically, and having one of them track map through either a text or an image. In this case, we've got our drone footage as our bottom layer, and that's gonna be our background because there's not a huge amount happening in it. It's just kind of pretty. Now the layer that's gonna cut through our graphics is our intro animated sequence, with some music, and also we've got the graphic that we're gonna cut through, which is the play button and the subscribe text. So again, same process on the animated sequence. I'm gonna select it, go to track mat key. I'm gonna place that on that clip and I'm gonna select my mat to be video layer three. And here we have the finished article. So there you have four examples of how you can use this technique. It is pretty straightforward once you know how, and once you do know how, it's a really effective way of upping the production value of your videos. Hopefully, with these four examples, it will give you something to work with. But of course, if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below. Okay, that's enough. Thanks. You enjoyed it then? Four examples? Well, the reason it was so long is because someone's phone kept going off. So we've kept you long enough, but hopefully in today's video, you've learned from those four examples exactly how you can put your video into text Ooh. or your text into video. And we'll be back on Monday for a riveting top five lenses. It's gonna be a really exciting video, actually. I'm looking forward to it. More of my face, less of his face. He's behind the camera. Oh. No sound. <laughs> And no sound machine, you know, so there's that. Yeah, but the, that sound machine is making this the big money. I checked at Amazon, nothing. Right, why don't you go below the video, there's a link. Go and get the sound machine, go on, off you go. That's how we fund our big weekends away. Ooh. Thanks for watching. See you Monday. Is that another one sold? Yeah, we're doing well. We're keeping Amazon going. Okay.